welcome to the Gradual Report. My name's Danny. This is Alex Holderness. Hello. He is a very important person at a uh, volunteer match. Describe very important. I do nothing but sit around. Now, let's get into what volunteer match does. Uh, <sighs> From what I understand, you take volunteers, and you take uh, people that need volunteers, and you put them together into a wonderful, harmonious community online. Excellent description. Exactly. Yeah. But? But. It's a very simple concept. It's uh, similar to any search and match uh, service. Okay. People are looking to get involved. Places where you go to look for something you're interested in doing. Exactly. So, and, uh, like if you were interested in ferrets, you would go to ferrets. I love ferrets. I love shapedferrets.com. And if you were interested in volunteering to help your, your ferret friends, yes. you would come to Volunteer Match. You guys have... We have a search engine that uh, will provide people who love ferrets uh, the ability to search for possible places to volunteer. Assuming there's somebody out there who's going to, you know, wants to... Have who to requires volunteers for ferrets. For ferrets. And actually, I, I believe there is. I think we've had this discussion uh, as an organization that there are ferret organizations, rescue ferrets. Rescue it's a ferret rescue group. Let me let me see if I can phrase this question in a way to make it the most accessible to my viewer. Okay. Let's say hypothetically that uh, you got a DUI. <laughs> hypothetically, of course, and that you have to serve, say, 600 hours of community service because you hit a judge. You got a block of cheese, a big wheel of cheese next to you, and you're looking at the cheese. You're thinking, my God, if I lock that in my car, it's gonna stink bad. But you're already kind of drunk, a little buzzed. Anyway, you blow a point away. The judge is almost dead. You get 600 hours of community service. Can volunteer match help find a volunteer place? To volunteer. If the 600 hours is all you get, <clears throat> or when you get out of the when you get out of the hole, you can come uh, finish your community service. Um, yeah, we can help you find a place to work that off. If that unfortunate situation should befall you, go to volunteer. Hypothetically hours. speaking, of course. <laughs> Hypothetically. 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 New new hypothetical. New hypothetical. Okay. Let's say you're Hitler. <laughs> Okay, just accept that as, as what it is. Now, let's say that you won, that one you won the war in 1945. You didn't lose, you won. How much time do you require your citizens as a dictator to volunteer and not break down their own productivity? Because you got to keep the war machine going. Is this an interview question? Am I, I'm not that is, interview. well, it's, yes. I'm not up for a job or anything. Could no, no, that. that's... Rational thing okay, so discussion. Okay, so how much time can a person volunteer and still be a productive human being? I think is essence of it. You know, you can volunteer as little as a few minutes. Uh, some of our opportunities will allow you to log in, very simply spend 10 minutes to call someone off a reference list or call someone off a media list, and bang, you've helped... Uh, a nonprofit keep their systems in order or their database in order. Awesome. Very good. So lots of different. So there's like opportunities for everyone. It doesn't take a lot of time. They have webbies. So how did you get the webbies? Volunteer Match was awarded a webby for excellent um, site providing service. Uh, so it's easy to use. Supporting service. So basically they say, excellent. here's here's a fantastic. Here's an award. You're the best one on the web in the service. It's amazing. And you're the best one on the web in the act. Pretty, pretty big kudos for. A, what was then a 10 Can and now a 30 this? person company. Not too bad. I've don't steal my webbies. I've don't touched, I've webbies. touched them a plenty. I don't, I, I'll just take the memories with me. That's Thank you, Alex. Alex. It's a pleasure. It's for, a pleasure. Thanks for having me on the, uh, for having me here yeah. in San Francisco and uh, and for, for popping onto the Garage Report and telling us all about your... Well, thank you very much for uh, coming and being supportive of the work we do. All right. Nice to meet everybody. Bye, kids. On behalf of the Ford Fiesta Movement, Alex, I would like to present you with this oversized check for $500. Thank you very much. Ford Fiesta. Movement. <laughs> Movement. Yes. How's that? That's a little... We need to do it again. No, we're good. <laughs> the most important question of the day, quite yes. possibly. My mom hates my haircut. What do you think about it? I don't know, I had one of those. Really? A mohawk? My mom didn't like it. I did have a mohawk, and I actually still had, a, you know, the hair on the sides and everything, so I'm, I'm, all, I'm all for it. There you go. Are you going to go for the standing, you know, punk style one? It's punk yeah, style. it's just... You grow it out like Descendants yeah, style? Yeah. yeah, it gets curly and it gets yeah. weird.